a lot of pain and sufferings we bear just because we are unable to say no. Sometimes it's because of love, sometimes it's even for egoistic reasons that you might fall short in front of a person just because you were unable to do something. So often in order to be a yes man, we kind of sacrifice our own peace of mind. As a Muslim, we can only have this yes man attitude towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he's just, but humans are not. Sometimes these injustices comes from the nearest one we have in our life. Let me tell you a story. One of my best friend in life, Hassan, he made his way to Germany for higher education. He got into university doing some part-time jobs here and there just to get through his expenses. In the meantime, his family back home is getting impatient. His father is like, I spent so much money uh, to send you to Germany and you can't even take care of the expenses of the family. Uh, his neighbors is uh, coming to his mom that, hey, my son is earning millions. What about Hassan uh, living in Germany? Uh, you know, uh, Hassan's relatives comes to his dad that your son is uh, in Germany. Uh, why do you need to work? So Hassan loves his family, he wants to help his family out. So what he does is he takes a full-time job as a waiter in a restaurant because without any education, you can't do anything else at the moment. There he's serving pork, alcohol, and cannot even pray in time. But he's earning good tips, making good money, and his family is happy because he's able to send big bucks back home. But the problem arises at the immigration office where they don't want to extend visa for Hassan because even though he has a student visa, he has been working all the time and didn't study it at all. So all of a sudden he has to go back to and his whole world falls apart. How he will show his face to his family and relatives. So he's looking for ways to stay in Germany and the only solution someone gave him is to get married. So he marries a European woman in order to stay in Germany. But the woman blackmails Hassan every now and then for money, otherwise she will go to police and tell them it's a fake marriage. On the other hand, Hassan's father tells him that his sister is getting married and they need to have a big wedding to satisfy the groom's family. So without any option in hand, Hassan goes to a bank gets a 30k loan and spends it on his wife and for his sister's marriage. Then I met Hassan after a very long time. His health is deteriorating because of overworking, uh, because whatever he's making is not enough for two families and on the top of that he has a interest-based loan. Um, he's severely depressed and he hates his family and he blames his family for his whole situation at the moment. Now, I don't have a friend whose name is Hassan and I made up the story. But the fact of the matter is these are real stuff going on in our community, in our circle, among our friends and most importantly to ourselves. We are losing control of our life because we are letting other people dictate the most important matters in our lives. We are saying yes to every demand without thinking what will be the cost. Think about Hassan when he quit his study for this restaurant job to help his family. Is it obligatory on him at that point? Is it his responsibility? Allah said be good to your parents, help other people. But what Hassan actually did? He disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please his parents and relatives and neighbor. You can never succeed by compromising your din, compromising your religion, be it, be it for your family, friends, the most beloved one that you have in your life. You can never satisfy people by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All you get is misery. Learn to say no. Learn your responsibilities. And most importantly, never sacrifice your own peace of mind to fix others. Barakallahu feek wa jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.